Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes, a new day. Um, and today, we have something pretty major. Major, major. And it starts with this first station. Mm -hmm. We're about to do something pretty fun. Let's do this. Guys, I'm styling my hair. There's RJ. See, now, there's another problem. <laughs> Why? We have to go to the salon for his hair. Style my hair. Why? Because I have, we have an event. So. We have an event. I have a press conference to do for the Taipei City Government Tourism video that I'm uploading today on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. If you've been following the vlogs, you know that we had to fly to Taipei to shoot an epic tourism video um, and we are so happy to launch it today. And it's gonna be debuted for the Philippine press today. That's right, so newspapers, tabloids, they will all be there, the media. And like, now that I have hair, I wanna do it properly. Like, I don't even know how to style hair. This is a new problem. By the way, if you're new to the vlogs, my name is Mikey Bustos, welcome to the channel. Mm -hmm. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and Subscribe to join the Mabuhay squad. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I didn't even shave. No need to cut, just I'll, style. I'll just style. Yeah. The shampoo first. Uh, shampoo, style. okay. Gotta wash my hair. I have an event today. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I'm new to hair, so I don't know how to style it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Right, Guys, Jane and Judith, good morning. Good morning. Yes, and Jaya. Good yes. Uh, we're heading now to the venue, which is at a hotel. And this event's gonna be a big deal because not only is the Philippine press gonna be there, but the entire agency from Taipei, representatives, like members of Taipei Tourism, they've all flown into Manila for this event. And all the sponsors too, for this entire campaign undiscovered Taipei campaign mm -hmm. so uh, I gotta perform well I, I gotta do I, there's a lot of pressure to perform the song well answer all the questions well right RJ can you help me answer questions for the Philippine press I'm gonna allow the thing please I'm not allowed to answer questions <laughs> and we're already anticipating that they will likely ask questions about RJ and I it being Pride Month and, you know, Taiwan being the first Asian country to legalize gay marriage. So, like, we're, we're anticipating they will ask personal stuff like that. Alright guys, we're here at the hotel. Wow, beautiful hotel. Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow, this is gonna be a fancy press conference. Yes, we're here again. Hi, good morning. Good morning, welcome to Manila. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How was the flight? Good. Two hours in Mexico. Yeah, just two hours. This is the stage. I'll be performing on later. There's the team. And this is the venue. Cool, right? Okay, guys. So, for those of you who are new to press conferences, what they're for is they're to present to the press, so newspapers, blogging sites, magazines, all of the press, you know, tabloids about whatever it is you're promoting. So in this case, it's to promote the undiscovered Taipei campaign, mm -hmm. the launch of the new video, um, to educate the press as to why Taipei is an awesome place to visit. Of course, this entire campaign has been mandated by uh, Taipei City Tourism, so <clears throat> it's a big deal. You know, I'm just a little tiny participant in this big machine. <laughs> but it was fun, it was fun to be a part of this. The agency and the entire team have flown in here. They've been spending months on this campaign. And so we're all really excited about this, but we really want this press conference to run smoothly. <laughs> we're uploading the video now to go live exactly at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to take you into the interview process of the press. That's gonna be interesting. Good morning, Chow. Welcome morning. to Manila. How was the flight? Great. Good. Hey guys, what's up? 
Welcome to Manila. Yes, welcome to Manila. Hey, yeah. So now the sponsors of this entire campaign are setting up their booths. Hi there. Welcome to Manila to introduce to the press their um, awesome products and services um, that people can avail, tourists can avail of when they visit Taipei. Okay guys, so just did a second run through. Totally screwed up my first line because the Toronto Raptors just won. So distracted. Okay, I gotta stay focused. Congratulations, Toronto Raptors. So proud of my city. All of you guys are probably partying up this weekend. I waited so long since grade eight for the Raptors to win. And we made history. Yay. Yay, RJ. Yay. Look how excited RJ is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, had to shave the mustache a little bit off. Had to trim it. Well, well, well. Chilean sea bass and scallops for lunch. Wow, with like a squash reduction. I'm not gonna try to think about this press conference. It's gonna eat. Look at this knife. Oh my. Oh my. It's, oh wow. Mm. Let's drag it through this reduction here. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh, RJ, so good. Mm. That is some good chili and sea bass. Oh my, seriously, so flavorful. It's buttery, goes so well with the vegetables. Good, right? Yeah. Now that I have one of these giant scallops. All right. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Scallop is like a really delectable lobster tail right now. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. RJ gave me his skin. Kids, here's a tip. Never throw away the skin. All the good stuff is in there. All the omega fatty acids and stuff. Trust me. Mm. Mm. I'm sad that this meal's almost done. Okay, so the media and press starting to file in now. I'm uh, obviously a bit nervous, especially because my last rehearsal did not go so well. I was so distracted. RJ, can you just perform the song for me? Yeah. For me. For me. For me. Not that song. <laughs> Towers of gold are still too little. Go to Taipei. <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna start. Okay, bye guys. See you. OMG, we're starting now. I gotta go sit at the front table. Posts are ready. <gasps> I am your host for today. My name is Mary Grace Koo. You can call me MG for short. And I'm so much happy. These gentlemen here are from the Taipei government. Taipei tourism. On this cover, Taipei. The campaign this year actually promotes or invites them to visit <laughs> The country. So today we are officially launching our Undiscovered Taipei campaign. So are you all ready? Yes. yes. Well, I think I need some more energy. Are you all ready? Woo! Yes. All right, so Commissioner, are you ready? Yes. In three, two, and one. All the way to Taipei, yeah. a city that I love with new discoveries at every corner and alley. Woo. A city where we time travel from historic sites to modern city. Where there's cool, they have four one seasons. Such nice flowers, I know, right? I'm hungry, let's go eat at the cool night market street. Woo. I show my parents Taipei, I knew they'd love Taipei. Yeah. Undiscovered Taipei, Filipinos love travel. My parents wander Taipei Many awesome memories made Undiscovered Taipei My family loves to travel Wabekitai Park 
My mom wanted to explore historical typing I treasure Helen's info culture world market And my dad, he ate everything in typing He ate everything in sight Now they read, okay? Now the dream wharf Oh, it's so pretty Moon Chang Monastery Wow, so nice Excuse me, where's the CR? Mommy, they don't know that part of this press conference I'm gonna be interviewed um, by press and this is what I want you guys to watch and experience what it's like okay here this is it interview portion now with the press um, I'm gonna take you guys with me so you can hear everything oh my gosh see look 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 that's what it's like see that I'm next right now they're interviewing the commissioner hi okay Good afternoon, Plastic Balloon. <laughs> As ambassador of Taipei, and I'm uh, truly honored to be here and grateful for uh, for this and to be able to visit Taipei. Uh, yes, four times. Well, the first time was just for vacation, and then um, last December I was invited for their Filipino Day to perform. So I went there then, and then the two times that I filmed for the promo video. Uh, wow, so many. Bay 2 is an area where they have the hot springs, like I said before. It really is great. Um, I also vlogged the experience. The hot springs are really amazing. You know, it's good for the skin, and that was kind of new for me. And food is excellent in, uh, in Taipei. What's your favorite? Oh, um, anything with beef. <laughs> Uh, you should always try stinky tofu as well as uh, some of the places that we mentioned at the press conference um, Breakfast is good. Their dry beef noodles really good. Taiwanese palate is very compatible with Filipino palate Yeah, um, it's uh, really an honor. It, it, I've been doing YouTube now for mga nine ten years and it's uh, just I feel grateful to be able to still do YouTube full time mm -hmm. because of the gracious support mm -hmm. from uh, Kapwang Pinoy. When in Taipei, mas masarap ba maging uh, backpacker magisa with with a loved one, with family, with friends? Yes, so, okay I think okay lang lahat. Yeah, no matter what you're looking for, doesn't matter uh, what your spending or budget is. Uh, there's a little bit of everything in Taipei, uh, which I really appreciate. Whether you're a millennial or even college, college level can even travel to Taipei. Um, lots of great places to take, you know, couple photos. The, yeah, of course, in front of uh, Taipei 101, there's that very famous love monument. Um, and very Instagrammable, talaga. Taipei. Since you mentioned your LGBT, you're a member of that. What is your Pride Month now? And any advice to the people? Oh, hindi pa nagka -come nagka -come. Oh, yeah. Um, well, my advice, uh, of course, is well, first of all, no schedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no schedule. Just you, the universe will prepare the right moment for you to say, "I am who I am." Okay. Yes. Okay. Mikey, like what prompts you? Parang anong nagtulak sa you para what, what um, made you decide? Um, what made me decide? Well, it was a mutual decision between me and uh, my partner. Uh, we've 
been dating for almost seven years now. Oh, and wow. Yeah, so it was it was just time. I mean, I'm almost 38, and uh, I I really wanted to be my most authentic self and deliver that message. Ano yung mga hindi mo makakalimutang reaction since the admission? Yeah, it was a surprise. It, no, it was, it was all love. You know, I didn't expect that. And it gives me hope for the Philippines and uh, the LGBTQ community. It's uh, It's been all love, right RJ? It's been nothing but love. May you plan about this relationship to, to go so further? To go further to relationship? Or to marry in Taiwan? Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe sometime in the future. But uh, it, going to Taiwan with my partner was actually really neat because it was our first vacation as out of the country as a couple and out. Yeah, so that was another level of travel for us. And also because Taiwan is the first Asian country to legalize gay marriage, so it was just a, many layers of. Ooh, yeah. Do you have so, plans of getting married there? I don't know. Uh, you'll have to f follow the, the vlogs to find out. Surprise! Yeah, my kid boosts those vlogs daily. Follow me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, hindi ka nakakaramdam ng discrimination? No, not at all. Mm -mm. I think uh, what might be lacking is perhaps familiarity and understanding, uh, education. I think we're coming around, you know, like uh, RJ and I were surprised at the, the reaction and the love that came pouring in as soon as we came out. Um, I think the Philippines um, can maybe open and learn more about LGBTQ, which is why I don't dismiss questions that are might be invasive. It shows that people are curious because we are not taught this in school. Um, and there's so much to learn, like the, there's a reason why a rainbow represents LGBTQ is because we're not all one kind of person, you know, homosexual doesn't mean homogeneous. You know, there are some that are, you know, that like certain things, like certain looks, we don't all like to work at a salon, you know, things like that. And I think soon those stigmas and barriers are, they're coming down now. <laughs> How did I know? Yeah. Um, well, I think it got to a well, personally, it got to a point where it was affecting the, my relationship <laughs> with my partner and my work as well. Uh, I was burning out more. I was. We felt like there was something. There was a kink in our machine, and so we, RJ and I, went to uh, Puerto Galera to hang out with some friends, and we decided, hey, let's let's do this. Let's come out. RJ, come in. Yeah. Huh? No longer in the background. <laughs> we used to be neighbors and then yeah. Like where? Wow. Then we moved. Guys, you are James Taipei. Taipei. Mostly food. Food. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. I don't even eat balot. <laughs> but eating local food is our favorite thing to do. From our side, since we've crossed the line and broken that barrier, there's a there's a freedom we never knew it, that exists now. And we thought we were happy being in the closet. We were okay. It was like a, a nice game for us a little bit. We made it fun. But when we came out, we realized, wow, RJ, there's a freedom now. I can call you Be, and I can hold your hand in public and things like that. Little things. One word to describe the feeling. Free. When you when, when both of you are happy. Free. Happier. And happier. Happy. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh, guys, we're doing an interview for CNN now. Hi, being chosen for the second time as Taipei Ambassador has been just fantastic. Um, completely honored to be able to represent Filipinos and to represent uh, Taipei. Uh, Taipei is a fantastic place in the world. And, um, RJ and I, my partner, have really traveled in a lot of places in Asia, and Taipei is one of my favorites. So tell us about this one kind of for this year's campaign, uh, making of it. Yeah, well, the, the song is a parody of an original uh, Taiwanese song. So I heard it, it's mostly in Chinese. So I just added English comedy to it and added a storyline of um, how I brought my Filipino parents to Taipei and we visit all the various sites. 
and I even get to sing a way to know Taiwanese. So it was a really fun experience to do and to shoot. How did you really brought your parents to Taipei, or was this part of the? Yeah, well, the story is I brought my parents to Taipei, but for the shooting, I brought my dad, uh, who is visiting uh, Philippines from Canada. He wants to retire in Canada. So I said, Daddy, let's go to Taipei too, and uh, he really loved it. Alright, so now I'll invite your fellow Filipinos to come visit Taipei. Okay. Alright. Mabuhay, all my Filipinos. Be sure to visit Taipei. You won't regret it. Great food, great ambiance, lots of great Instagram photos. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're done, guys. Okay, that was so much fun. How was it? Your first press conference. That's alright. So guys, that is what a press conference is like with Philippine press and tabloids. <laughs> Questions were okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. OMG. Guys, there's an emergency situation. Thank you. you, say, you know, say guys, boy squad. High intensity right now. Right. We're all here. And this high intensity situation right now is 